Hey guys, if you look at the leaderboards right now, I have something really special to show you. I am currently the number one player in the entire world. Now, this is super, super exciting for me to see. I mean, I've never really been number one before, so I'm really, really happy I got it this time, and I'm excited to show you guys how I got there. It took a lot of good defenses and offenses to get here, so... Let's get right into them. We're into the first attack here, and we are up against Red Hunter here now. Look at these cannon cart placements. Red Hunter is one of the best players in the world, and he has these bases trapped to the max. But we were able to dodge all his traps by doing a little bit of a weird approach. You see, we're taking out one, two, and three big P.E.K.K.A. defenses on this base, and a lot of people wouldn't really go for these defenses with cannon carts because when you're using cannon carts, you're typically going for a giant cannon, an archer tower, or the lava launcher. So usually people don't really worry about trapping these big defenses because not a lot of people go for them. But Red Hunter has trapped these defenses. He has a Tesla right behind the gem mine. But because I know that, I know that I am good to go right here. And you'll see, we put the cannon cart super close to this building here. That way, in case he had any push traps a little bit behind there, we would dodge them. So we were really close to the archer tower, but since I know my cannon cart ranges we are out of range and that is going to get us a lot of value you see we're going to take down a double cannon the roaster another double cannon and now we start in the battle machine in the very corner and this is going to allow us to rip through the space look at this bomber value too i think it gets targeted onto by the lava launcher which is unfortunate but what it does do is also open up every single section here so now i place down two pekkas and we're going to let them work through the base i could use the double pekka ability to take out the crusher but that is just a waste so instead we're going to save that P.E.K.K.A. ability. Now we have a P.E.K.K.A. on the outside and we're going to use the cannon cart with it to make sure that we are taking down this archer tower. So look at all the value we're getting. We are going to be easily taking down this base. You'll see how many Teslas he has here. He loves trapping players. We find a giant bomb on the outside. This base would have destroyed my cannon carts if I had gone with them. So that is why I went with the P.E.K.K.A.s instead and we have nearly our entire army still alive. Now granted they are a little low health, all we lost in this attack, though, was a bomber. So, let's get to the next stage. I put it in the right place. <laughs> okay, someone subscribed in the middle of my recording. I'm not even streaming, but thank you to the guy who just subscribed. I forgot that set up. Let's keep going. We, we should be able to put the bomber onto the elixir storage and take out all the walls and open up everything. So, that is my main plan here. So, let's go see if it works. You see, this stage only took me one minute to take out. So, let's go ahead and see how I did it so quickly. First of all, we are going to be starting in the bomber all the way there and look at this placement. We put it just out of the range of both of the cannons and this is going to let us keep the bomber but also open up all these huge compartments here. So now we place down our P.E.K.K.A.s, we place down the battle machine, we still have two cannon carts to work here. We find a Tesla kind of out of nowhere so we just put a cannon cart with that P.E.K.K.A., another cannon cart with the other P.E.K.K.A.s and let's just go speed it up. We know this is going to be a six star already. I mean we have so much still working around the base and we do not have a lot of P.E.K.K.A.s health left but we do have the max battle machine ability. Three P.E.K.K.A.s, two cannon carts, a bomber and this base is crushed. There's no question about it. We got to run to the corner to finish it off but this this one was very very easy. Let's go ahead and check out another attack. I'm trying to use a lot of different strategies here. Usually I only use my cannon carts and they do a lot of work for me but that's not going to be working anymore. People are getting smarter so this base I brought in the baby dragons now. I'm trying to figure out where to use them and what I'm looking for is for one the cart value. Look at this cannon cart. We can barely take out both the guard post units and then we are good to take out the air bomb. We have the battle copter coming in for the mega tesla because one baby dragon ability We'll hit both a Mega Tesla and the Expo, so that's going to be huge. So let's just go ahead and see this happen. We got the cart working. We're going to speed it up because, again, no one cares to watch this. This is not the fun part. The fun part is seeing how this base gets absolutely wrecked by the Baby Dragon. So peak. Because we can take out this air bomb super early, we get a lot of value here. We hit both of these, like I said, and now we put down all these baby dragons around the base. We're splitting up the damage here. We got an expo attacking one. We got the archer tower attacking the other. That way, one baby dragon isn't dying really quickly. Instead, they're both dying a little bit slower. Now, we're going to use the ability. We take out the mega tesla. We still have four baby dragons alive along with the cannon cart still alive here. And we should be looking pretty good. I think I might hit a bomb at the end of here. I forget. I think I lost a troop. Is there a bomb? No? Okay, no, we didn't lose a bomb. So we got four baby dragons, a cannon cart, and the battle copter. 
that's a lot left over, man. But we get into the next stage here and immediately take a look here. He has the mortar, he has the lava launcher, he has the giant cannon, and when you look at this base, you realize there is no chance to use a cannon cart anywhere around here. I thought I could maybe outrange the giant cannon and the multi-mortar to get down this to get down this firecracker, but that was just not happening. So you're gonna see probably the saddest cannon cart of my life here. One second, let's speed it up a little bit. There we go. Put it down, immediately just bang, there it goes. We were on the edge of it, so there's a possibility there, but I just didn't get the right angle. So now I gotta kinda think, I put the battle copter all the way in the corner. We still have, you know, five baby dragons, a few of which have their abilities still. So we go ahead and send them in real quick. And I don't really know how to use baby dragons that much yet, I'm still practicing with them, but even still, just using these abilities on these huge areas like this gets you so much value. It's so hard to fail when you have this many baby dragons to end with. So I still have another one with the ability. We're sending them in. Gonna use the ability again. We take out so many buildings. We put in another one for the air defense and now we're finding a tesla so we still have another ability we're gonna pop the ability here in a second along with the battle copter ability and just look at how much we get down here i mean i probably should have waited on that baby dragon's ability we are going to be losing a few but it doesn't even matter i mean all these defenses are so low we're gonna have three baby dragons of swag here and the battle copter with the ability we are going to get kind of hurt from these zappies those are going to take down i think one maybe two and we still finish it off though so i'm really really happy with that attack especially since that's what the strategy i'm still learning and now it's time for our final attack and we are going to be using our cannon cart strategy so there's no excuses here if i mess up i'm just bad so let's go ahead and see what i did First, we're putting in the battle copter all the way from the corner. That's going to take down this giant cannon. Next, we're clearing out all these trash buildings to open up the archer tower to take it out with a baby dragon. And then we put another cannon cart in the corner to do the same thing to this archer tower. And one last one in this corner to do the same exact thing to this archer tower. So that's the general idea. Now, what I'm seeing here is two baby dragons on each of the archer towers. Not only will take down both of them, but then the splash ability is going to take down both them and the lava launcher. So that is some huge value to see there. We're going to put down our first baby dragon. It doesn't immediately go for the archer tower, which definitely sucks. We are going to be losing it before we take it down, but it does splash onto everything, like I said. So now we just got to kind of adapt. So we put in another baby dragon, and I think we start putting in some archers here in a second. We're going to go see if we can find some traps. We find a Tesla over here, which is very like unfortunate. I don't really know why he has a Tesla there, but you know what you're going to do about it. So we just go in. We find another push trap. These archers are finding so much for us. And then we're going to go send in an archer for this archer tower. So we still have three cannon carts alive and quite a bit of time to work with. And we're just going to keep letting them move around the base. We send in this archer that's going to take down that archer tower. We get this cannon cart moving in on the double cannon. We get this cannon cart moving in on the roaster. And now let's just go ahead and speed it up. We're finding some bombs around the base here, which is definitely a little unfortunate. But we're still looking very, very good. We have an archer to spare. And now we just keep these cannon carts moving. We're going to take out the mega tesla. And we are on to the second stage here now. You'll see I could easily move this one to finish off the Mega Tesla quicker, but I don't know if there's more bombs there, so I'm not. I'm just being safe because I know I got the base down. A lot of people are tempted to go faster instead of smarter, myself included, so... That's just some good advice here. Now we're on to the next base here. I immediately see there's a cannon at the very top and I think, hey, if I get down this cannon, I can outrange this one. That's a two for one BOGO. That seems like a very good idea. So I start off an archer right over there and it finds the most amount of bombs you've seen probably since World War II. So it immediately dies. We're not getting down that cannon, but I'm not done with that cannon. I want that cannon. So first we gotta take down this archer. That's gonna be quite easy. Next, we're testing for all the traps with the Barbarian. There is a double cannon upgrading, so we're going to take advantage of that. We're taking down the Crusher, and now here comes my mastermind plan to get down the cannon. We find a Tesla, so we're like, oh shoot, we put down another cannon. We want to get down this cannon. One more shot. Here it comes. Here it, it hits the Barbarian. So we lose a cannon card, but we still have the one at the very top, and now they're just going to start cooking around this base here. They're in a pretty much a semi-circle around the base. So we're just going to let them keep working around. There's one defense left with this cannon, and that's going to be easy work. So we do lose a cannon cart to this mortar, but we easily wiped this base another clean six star, which is what allowed us to get so high up. But it's not just about the attacks. It's about the defenses too. You'll see I had three huge defenses, but for now, let's just go focus on the first one from Zell HD. Now, Zell HD is one of the top players in the world, and he's led one of the best clans in the world to see Chinese builder base pushing clan, and 
is quite high up there, and so he is definitely a notable attacker, so he starts in with a bomber, and only opens up one wall, but he still has another bomber, throws it down, and now here come the Teslas, now there's Teslas, there's push traps, there's bombs, there's all sorts of traps in the base for Pekkas, he's already finding some bombs, and he got a really bad attack here, because you'll see, you want to go all the way on this side of the base, where he's going in from, but the builder hall is all the way on the other side of the base, so, he's trying to go in there, but there's so many compartments, and this crusher does so much damage, that he is getting torn up, I mean, this giant cannon rips through his whole army, and I'm pretty sure he just quits here in a second, because he knows there's no chance of it, and this is done, so, a really quick defense showing you just how powerful bases can be if you trap them correctly. We're going to jump into another defense on the same base. This is from Lucky Cage and yet another top player. He is very very good as well. He usually uses baby dragons and we already see this replay doesn't have a whole lot of time to it. So let's go see how he goes in. He starts in the battle copter from the top and he's probably going to run into some Teslas. Here they come and so he has to sacrifice a baby dragon and he loses the ability. The ability hits nothing. Another Tesla is hitting the battle copter so he has to sacrifice yet another baby dragon so now he is in a bad place here he so far lost two baby dragons and the abilities have hit all of two buildings and he still has the mega tesla up which should trigger this battle copter ability so you'll see it gets triggered and now this baby dragon ability isn't going to work because it wasn't raged and now he only has one baby dragon left he's about to lose his battle copter there it goes and with a roaster and expo and a lowered archer tower this is going to be yet another super super solid defense I mean this base has been working so well for me I'm extremely glad to see such good defenses and I'm so happy I was, I was actually able to make it to number one in the world so so I hope you guys enjoyed I'll be sharing this base in my discord if you want to try it out for yourself so you definitely got to check that out in the description but with all that out of the way I hope you guys enjoyed see ya